May swing crawl knee crawl. So for the swing for May, you're actually going to swing forward and back, which is normally what people first do when they're trying to kip, um, so they don't get that alternating hollow arch. Um, they kind of keep traveling one way and then the other, so you don't want to go too far. If I've got the ring set up where I can reach them, where my um, feet are touching the ground, just bend the knees, and I'm trying to go forward and then come back, forward and then come back. I don't want to jump into it, I want to work for it. So I'm trying to use my core to get that lift. If you jump in, you kind of miss the point. The whole point is to try and get that swing going. You only got 30 seconds, so you won't get too high. If you do, just be careful. So you're trying to really feel that change. Uh, then for the crawl, just going to be doing a crawl where you keep the legs straight and just working on the ankle mobility through it. So the core stays tight. You can make it harder by having the hands further in front. So only the shoulders and the ankles are moving in it. Quite challenging. Then we've got the sissy squat with the band. Uh, so obviously to make it harder, less band help. And you just want to shoot those knees forward as you're coming down. Contract, really keeping that core tight when you do it. You can do a bit of an arch and throw the head back and do a bit of a, like a wave coming up. Uh, it's good to get the neutral version, the arch version, the hollow version. We did the kind of hollow to arch to hollow kind of in the crunch. Uh, last month, so I'd probably just keep it neutral um, unless you really like that feeling of throwing your head back and coming up so where you kind of go back. But as with any of the extension work, when your head's back like that, tongue stays on the roof of the mouth, mouth stays closed. For the hamstring, it's just a bent knee, hamstring curl. So you're coming up, hinging in the hip. To make that harder, you obviously just go to one leg. Hinge, and because it's only 30 seconds, I probably just get two clean reps each side, like that. Um, if you've got an anchor point, it's great to do those anchored ones uh, where the feet are hooked under or a training partner. We just use the bars here and we set them down low. But you've got to have that anchor there so you can hinge forward so you don't face plant. Last month we had that version, but in that the butt goes back to counterbalance you so you don't fall forward or you can do it balancing on the knees like that uh, but this month just trying to get that nice control through the hamstring nice stretch through there as well as strengthening if your legs are up kind of semi straight but then also if you want to anchor it then the legs will be bent so you can work that posterior chain that way really good exercises whichever one you want to choose but nice and smooth it is a bit more dynamic this one, so it's not like the other core workouts that are more really targeting those postural fibers. These ones are a bit more kind of, you know, whole body dynamic, so that that way they're integrating uh, the core stability work, but also integrating that kind of movement pattern um, responses that we're after. Enjoy.